a big honor, you know, to be offered to do a Bond film, but um, it was really the talk I had with Kerry. I was so happy for his approach to it. He also had the view of what Bond should be and what he wanted to do with it that really responded to me. In Matera, it's quite beautiful all the time, but especially if it's sunny. Bringing in the romantic action that is rich and colorful. And harsh, bright daylight and sun, which creates a very contrasty look in the, in the city. or maybe perhaps very much heightened, but still connected to reality. That town that we found in Italy had not only both the romantic picturesque qualities that fit very well for the beginning of that sequence, but it also were made in stone so that it would be a very hard location to sort of have action sequences within. And therefore that location I thought was really a beautiful spot because it could give us first the romantic Italy and then we could throw the audience straight into a very brutal and hard action. Bond movies for us felt like Anamorphic 35 is like what the franchise lives in. It's like the wide scope of the screen and that you get lush colors shooting on film. That was sort of a no-brainer for us in the discussions and we already connected on that early on. You're late. I... Vamos. Kerry also said that he wished that we could expand that even further. Part of that was also to shoot on Anamorphic 35, but also IMAX 15 per film cameras for certain sequences. That's why we decided to shoot sequences um, in the film in IMAX. They're framed in 2 for 0 it's Anamorphic 35. And then it's IMAX, so it's sharper and more detailed, obviously, in 2 for 0 But if you're in an IMAX theater, you feel like even more golf. We put IMAX cameras on motorcycles. You would think, like, right away that an IMAX camera that weighs, like, 80 pounds could not be on a dirt bike, but actually can. <laughs> And so the reason for IMAX in this film has to do with opening up the peripheral viewing for the audience and to be even more engulfed in, in the scenes. You know? That was really the intention to maximize the experience um, for the audience, really. We had quite a bit to do in Matera with the stunt planning. We obviously have to lock down that whole town in order to perform these stunts. So that was all planned out ahead of time and rehearsed. I'm not sure if we had like a six, seven cameras on that scene and also a drone to shoot it. That was part also of the whole filming where Kerry really loved to capture everything in camera as much as possible. And that's obviously a lot of the theme on the Bond movies to actually do the stunts for real and do what you see actually happens in front of the camera. It's a huge effort from, from uh, production uh, to put in that in front of the camera in the budget that we got to build all these uh, beautiful sets, you know. It was amazing, uh, you know, to uh, be part of doing such grand stunts where you had the resources to actually do them on those kind of locations. It was obviously a great honor, I think, to shoot one of the Bond films. It's a challenge, obviously, and that's what is fun, I think. It's fun to take on challenges, things that you haven't done before. And it was with a great joy I got into it rather than fear. Things that may seem a little harder than normal is sort of great to do, I think, to challenge yourself.